Shalom Akim, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rechachwadash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. That's what these lessons are for. All right, uh, we're coming to you with a uh, Day of Atonement lesson, which we know the word atonement goes into, um, what's the word? Uh, to make an atonement means to reconcile, you know, to make to make an offering to the Heavenly Father. You see what I'm saying? For, for pretty much your sins of the year, you know, which like I did the show earlier, a lot of our people, they out there, you know, namely the Negroy tribes, so-called West Indians, Haitians, you got some Judites in there, so-called uh, that West Indian Day Parade, you know, and really what they doing is is uh worshiping Bacchus. That's right. That's why they call it a Bacchanal, which when you go into uh Bacchus, or the Greeks are call him, I think Dionysus. Yep, Dionysus. You're right. They uh he was the uh the god of wine and banqueting. Yep. So on Rioting. and so forth, riding. Rambling. You know, and reveling, so on and so forth. And when you look at that West Indian Day Parade, that's what a lot of our people are into. Same thing with the Puerto Rican Day Parade or Dominican Day Parade, whatever have you. You know, our people, their minds are far from the Heavenly Father. You know, but we living in a time where you're supposed to be turning back unto the Heavenly Father and, and remembering, you know, the Lord in, in the land of our captivity. Okay. So uh, we're going to start off with uh, Leviticus. We're going to go into the Day of Atonement. This is Leviticus chapter 24, verse 27. Also, on the 10th day of this month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation. Read that again, the 10th day of what? It says also on the 10th day of this, it's like it, it's like it. Also on the 10th day of, of this seventh month. Right, so it say the 10th day of the seventh month. So one, a person might say, oh, well, wait a minute. It's not July 10th. Well, what you got to understand is that the so-called white man done, done sought to change times and laws. You know what I'm saying? So the real time, you know, we really don't even know through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? The exact date, you know, but through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you know, through the apostles, this is the day of atonement, man. And the so-called Jew, you know what I'm saying? They call it Yom Kippur. But when you go into the Hebrew, the word there is uh, Kapar, Kapari, Kaparium. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Which goes into atonements, man. All right? Yawam Kaparium. All right. right. So we read it again from the top. Yep. This is um, Leviticus chapter 24, verse 27. Also, on the 10th day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you. Right. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, man. To who? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Not a day of reveling and, 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 and rioting, you know what I'm saying, and debauchery. Okay. A holy convocation. And really, you're supposed to keep the Day of Atonement like you keep the Sabbath, man. That's right. All right? No work is supposed to be done. Now, through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, certain brothers didn't have to work today. Because why? Because it's a so-called holiday even of this society. It fell on the day, uh, on so-called Labor Day this year. Okay? But like I said, the majority of our people are out doing whatever the hell they want to do, man. When you're supposed to be keeping a nationwide fast, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're supposed to be keeping this fast unto the Heavenly Father. And, and you know, you know, I'm allowed to say this, you know, they have no cloak for their sins because these videos are up there. We do this, we do this year after year. And there's old um Day of Atonement lessons that's going up. I'm saying that's been up there for years. You know, so there's no excuse, man. And you run across these videos, but Jake, like you said, Jake would do their own thing, man. You know, Jake would, you know, deal with that debauchery and the things that's of this world, and it's, you know, and, and um, instead of afflicting their souls, man, it's only 24 hours. You can't afflict yourself for 24 hours. You're that undisciplined. You can't, you can't afflict, you can't afflict your soul for 24 hours. Don't eat or drink anything. Pray constantly, and and put up videos. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Good. Jake is undisciplined. It says, um, it says, and ye shall afflict your souls. Right, afflicting your soul meaning to fast, man. To not not to eat or drink anything for 24 hours. Not like how these Muslims keep it on they, they, that Ramadan shit, all right, where they drinking water or something like that. No, to where you don't eat or drink anything from sundown to sundown, okay? Exactly. 
that's not even the fast them, 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 them so-called Muslims do, man. Because they break their fast, you know, during the day, eating snacks and candies and shit, you know what I mean? And drinking water. That's not afflicting your soul. Right. I got so used to it. I got so used to it, man, that I'm not, I'm not even hungry now, man. Yeah, your body your body has become used to it, doing it from, you know, year, year in and year out. Yep. Says, not uh, to mention the fast that brothers also go on, you know, during the year. Cut. You know what I'm saying? You might... Some demon might jump on you You might need to get it up off you And you go on a fast So on and so forth Because the Lord said You know some demons don't go out But without fasting and praying That's right So you always got to be You always got to throw up some prayers Apostle Apostle Aramla And Apostle um, Rakar Mainly Apostle Rakar Always stressing Going with him saying, Putting up prayers man You know That's what we ought to do That's right but I'm going to finish this way right? It yep. says And ye shall And ye shall flick your souls And offer an and offering and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Right. So back then, when we had the priests and whatnot, that's what we would do. We'd all we we keep the fast, but then we'd also offer up an offering by fire. Now we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? In this particular time, one because the heavenly Father took away. You know what I'm saying? The uh, the, the the sacrifice and whatnot. But also because we in the land of our captivity, and what we're doing is rehearsing the righteous act. That's right. We're gonna get Judges nine and eleven. Uh, uh, five and eleven. Not now. Let's finish that out. Go to uh, finish up verse uh, twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight. It says, Leviticus chapter twenty-four, verse twenty-eight. And ye shall do no work in that same day. Twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three and twenty-eight. Yep. It said, and ye shall. This is Leviticus twenty-three, verse twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. And ye shall do no um, work in that same in that same day. Right. So you're supposed to really be able to tell your boss, look, man, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Okay, it's the day of atonement, hmm. and I'm not coming in. But well, guess what? If you do that all the time, Game you're gonna off. be you're gonna be jobless and, and, and possibly homeless, man. Hmm. Okay? So it's about rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. We cannot keep the law perfectly in our captivity. It's not gonna happen. It's impossible. If we could do that, what we need Yahweh Shah for. That's right. There, my brother. It says, um, it says, um, and you, this is back in 20, um 23, verse 28, Leviticus. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, mm -hmm. to make an atonement for you before the Lord our power. Right, to make an atonement for you before the Lord our power, man. All right, so now we could go to uh, Judges 5 and 11. This is Judges chapter 5, verse 11. Right. And it reads, it says, they that are, de are delivered from the noise of the archers. Right, the noise of the archers is going into a future prophecy. The future of America, the future faith of America, I should say, because America is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles, ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. And that's why every time you turn the news on or you go into these different news publications, they're always talking about, you know, missiles being tested or the proliferation of nuclear missiles or uh, some nation is in talks with another nation about uh, nuclear uh, uh, power. And why is that? Because ultimately, the Heavenly Father is allowing the proliferation of nuclear missiles to be, to be built up, okay? These nuclear missiles are to be built up to be used in, in, in the visitation of the Lord. Because that's how America's going out, man. And you remember, you remember where you heard it, man. You're going to remember where you heard that from, man. That's right. Because this thing is like a broken record. Because we come out year in and year out. Week in and week out, month in and month out, day in and day out, preaching the same gospel, man. Telling you that America is going to be destroyed by nuclear missiles, man. They even make movies about it, man. Yep. The way day after Tim Slack. Okay. Way before Terminator came out, you had Abba Bivens out there teaching, man. All right? You had you had uh, 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 King Masha out there teaching, uh, High Priest Yaikwab and them teaching, man. That's right. The High Priest uh, 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 Ariyah teaching, man. Okay. Good. It says, back in Judges chapter 5, verse 11, they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing water. The place of drawing water represents captivity, which we are in captivity right now, man. That's why when you go to work, you don't take home everything. You have to pay tribute. If you don't know what tribute is, tribute is taxes. Now look on your check when you get it on, on your pay stubs, Okay. And all them people, FICA and, and, and SSI, and you don't even know none of these people, but they taking a chunk out of your check, right? Because why? That's tribute. We are tributaries in this land. We are slaves. 
That's right. Good. It says, um, it says, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Right, and we rehearse the righteous acts by keeping the Day of Atonement, man. When the majority of our people are not doing so. Okay. We growing our beards while our beards are not lined up. We don't have uh, uh, our haircuts are not, you know what I'm saying, lined up. You know, the corner, corners of our heads are not lined up and whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Good. Uh, it says, um, it says, um, there they should rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord Yahweh, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of, of, of his um villages in Israel. Yeah, it's a little, brother, probably going to be a little, a little too loud. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's roll, roll the windows back yeah, down. Yeah, let's roll the windows back down. Cars coming back before, but, you know. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. This work when I want to work. Yeah. Right? Okay, all right. So let's continue on. Even though they fixed it. Jochi, whatever his name is. Yeah. But anyway, that's why I stopped going to him. It says, um, he's going to work again. It says, they show, it says, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts, even the righteousness towards the inhabitants of his villages mm -hmm. in Israel. They show, they, sh they, they show the people of the Lord go down to the gates. To the gates and hear the word, which is what, you know what I'm saying, we do out there when we on the highways and byways, man. Which the gates, they going down there to hear the prophets of the land, man. That's why the scriptures say they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. Okay, that's in the book of Amos somewhere in like the fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. Because why? That's the going in and the exiting of the city. You know what I'm saying? So you'd see the prophets there and they'd be cursing you out. So you're going to hear them when you coming in or hear them when you're going out. That's right. All right? So they hated the prophets, man. Because why? Because they were telling you your faults, man. Yep. Basically to get right. But right. And that, that's that's the time we're living in. We're living in a in a grace period to get right with Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. All right? That's right. But Jake, they they hard headed, man. They don't want to listen, man. So well, well that's what it tells you in the book of Psalms, uh uh I, Isaiah 65. In the first verses, it tell you that how they are stiff necked people. You know what I'm saying? How they hard hearted and they stubborn and whatnot, man. That's our people, man. Time to the T. That's so, why the Most High is gonna kill him. So, so let me get the Baruch of, of Isaiah. Oh, uh, let's let's go to um, let's go to Baruch. Okay, because that fits right in what you were saying. Uh, the place of drawing waters. Mm -hmm. You know, it says um Baruch chapter um, chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Right, we are yet this day in our captivity, and I was talking about during the time of Baruch, even to this time. We still slaves, man. Don't get don't get a false sense of freedom, man. You're not free. You know, we subject unto payments, man. We were just talking about how, you know, if you 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 might be riding riding down the avenue or the boulevard or the street, and you got these goddamn these these cameras that's flashing. You know what I'm saying? Giving you tickets, man. Okay. Well, you got to pay these different fees for this, that, and the other. That's right. That are so called unconstitutional by the way but guess what the so-called white man get over on us anyway with it man he's the devil he's the goddamn devil man these damn unrighteous decrees you know what i'm saying that he writes into uh uh you know legislation and whatnot that's isaiah the 10th chapter the first verse on mm -hmm. there or to him that decree unrighteous decrees you know and guess what there's more unrighteous decrees to come now they now they saying oh oh uh you can't use the word uh, uh, pedo no more, all right? You have to call them a map, you know what I'm saying? Which is an acronym for, I forgot what the acronym stand for, but I know it was an acronym for some weird shit that these, that these Edomites, you know, it's passing now, you know? Well, something something like, uh, you know, a, young, a minor something, you know, you attracted to a minor, something like that, man. You know madness. what I'm saying? So they, they, they coming up with another acronym, like, you know, just to fit in there with the LGBTQ community. You know what I'm saying? Going to show you that what Esau is trying to create is a dystopia. All right? This is why George Orwell spoke about that, man. This is the, the dystopian society that he, he spoke about. And this thing was in the books. When I say in the books, it was already planned out years ago. Years ago. You know what I'm saying? Go back and watch these old movies, man. 
And you'd see that Esau's plan has already been in effect. Now he's 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 in a in a time where he's getting it off, man. That's right. He's trying to he's trying to accomplish like like you read Job, like I was watching the apostles earlier, it was going into Job the 20th chapter. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, man. Okay, you're gonna be in a position of difficulty, man. And you devils, you really gonna get your asses handed to you, man, when that time come, man. Don't think the most high gonna let you gonna let you sit up here and rule over his people, you know, forevermore. Let's read on. It says, um, back in Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. Right, because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly father. So Therefore, we in captivity now, man. We a bunch of damn slaves. A reproach, bywords, Negroes, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Port Haitians. Smoking. Yeah, um, that's just that's just that, that's just the so-called derogatory terms. But really, even if you're calling yourself African American, that's, that's a derogatory a term. That's a that's a goddamn you know what I'm saying byword. You should be calling yourself Yahawada or Banyamian or Shemayawan or or, or or Pariam. You know what I'm saying? Issachar, which Yashakar, you know what I'm saying? Zabala one. You know, those are the tribes that you come from, man. But they're not. You know what I'm saying? But you're not doing that. You know, you don't and you don't want to return unto the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because you want to continue on in your wickedness, man. But that's all right, because the most high got something for that. The Lord got a cure for that. All right? And it's called nuclear destruction. All right? The same shall know it after death. By pain. That's right. Now go figure that. Let's continue. It says, um, it says, um, it says, and to be a subject unto payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers. There you go. Subject unto payment, child support, alimony. I was looking at something on on, on, on TikTok earlier. This this woman was saying how you know, you know, the uh, child support, how much money the state makes off of child support. They call it child support the cash cow of the state. And you don't even have to biologically be this child's father hmm. to be paying child support. If you sign that birth certificate, you are, in the eyes of Esau, you are legally that child's father. Even if you take her to court with a DNA test and, you, and it clearly states that you are not the father, right. Esau don't care. Hey, man, listen, you ain't mentioning my cash cow, man. You still got to pay that. That's right. Which is totally wicked, man. That's right, man. He should be relieved from paying child support and, and reimbursed. And we yeah, about the same, but we wanted back the money that he spent on that child that's not his, man. And but guess what? This is not a righteous society. That's why the scriptures say when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. But when the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. Alright? You see what I'm saying? These goddamn Edomites in, 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 in power, man, are making people to mourn all around the world, man. And guess what? It's only more and more mournings are gonna come, man. More and more woe is going to come to the society until it be taken out of the way, until America is leveled by the way of nuclear destruction. We just mentioned a few things why America should be destroyed. Pedophilia. They're trying to normalize that now, man. All right? They they, they de demasculating men. All right? They empowering women. Okay? These damn unrighteous decrees, man. Child support and alimony. And things of that nature, man. Everything is turned upside down, man. Surely you're turning up things upside down should be esteemed Steve as a potter's pot clay. Right. The Most High is going to destroy this place, man. That's right. All right, so don't ask why America's going to be destroyed. Look around you. Good, yeah, my so brother. It reads, it reads, it says, um, it says, um, which the party, I'm going to read it from again from the top. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject unto payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. That's right. And that was happening back then. We were tributaries back then and we tributaries now. Okay. Read on. Verse 9. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Give give in to understand wisdom. 